Hello, Chef Hi. Amanda. Good to see Good you. Good to see again. you too. All right, so I brought my wine. Perfect. You brought the sustainable seafood. Yes, I Let's did. get started. What are we making? We're making our salmon niçoise salad today. Okay. All right. And um, just so we can get it going, I have a little oil in a pan here, right. and we're gonna just. Um, put our salmon in, Ooh, get it cooking. That is some pretty looking salmon. Yes, it is, isn't it? Um, this is uh, Southeast Alaska troll caught salmon that oh. we're, we're serving currently. Okay. Um, I, I seasoned it with a little bit of the Duke's Anytime Seasoning, oh. um, which is delicious and has so many. And you can smell yeah. it, by the way, as soon as it hits that pan. Exactly. It, so, it smells delicious. Okay. Well, while the salmon is cooking, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to have you mix up the dressing for us for our I salad. I got you. I'm your sous yes. chef. I'm your sous chef. So we have... Um, a Dijon balsamic vinaigrette that we're making. Oh, okay. Okay, right. so in your bowl, let's start out with that um, Dijon there. Okay. Here's a little spoon if you need Thank to you. bring it out. All right. Add the brown sugar. All right. That should be the top one. Yes. The balsamic vinegar, careful, that's good splashiness. It so gets splashy? Yeah. Is this the whole thing? You want me to whole add the thing. whole thing? It's okay, all so measured what out is this for about? you. Two tablespoons? -ish? It's uh, about a quarter cup, actually. A quarter cup. Okay. And then let's add in those onions, which are just um, chopped up really fine. Just chopped up onions. Yeah, All at right. home you can actually make this in a blender, but we didn't want to put that on TV today well, with that noise. That, you know. Let's do the salt and pepper. Okay. So about all of it. Okay. And then just the only thing you're not going to add in is this basil right here. Okay. So Don't give that a good crazy. mix. Okay, hold on. Let me. There you go. Okay. Giving it a good mix. Kind of just break down that sugar and get it melted in that vinegar. Oh, look at the colors already changing. Yes. Kids. And Check then in that squeeze bottle, we have mm -hmm. some oil, and you're going to add all of that oil in. All of it? Yeah, so that's um, three quarters of a cup. And okay, you so know, it's pretty traditional I for was a vinaigrette. Thinking, I was initially being like, this is not enough for a salad, but now I Oh, understand. you're going to end up with a lot of dressing, which will be delicious for other things during How the week. How long can you keep dressing in a fridge after you made it? By um, the way? This one you can easily keep for a couple Excuse weeks. Okay. So I just she said all of it. I'm getting very thorough over here. Yes. Okay. And now obviously it's not going to mix up well, but you want to... Yeah, give it a good mix. It okay. should kind of incorporate because of the Dijon and the sugar in there. It'll make it a little bit more emulsified. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this. How's your salmon doing? Oh, Salmon's good. There? I flipped it and we got a nice little crust on here. Okay. And I am just spreading a little bit of Dijon mustard across the top. You can also bake this salmon at home okay. um, to make it a little bit easier on yourself or if you're doing it for more people. Like, yeah, I was going to say, that's my key is like, how many people am I cooking for? Oh, I'm emulsifying so well here. Yeah. So then I'm also topping it with some fresh herbs. Okay. Um, this is a mixture of parsley, chives, mm -hmm. and uh, basil. Parsley, chives, basil. Okay. Yep. I had to say it again so I remembered it. Okay. How's that looking? I look good. That looks perfect. Look at me. I remember okay. dressing like that. So last like thing, that. let's just add in the basil. Okay. And then we're going to call that good. Do I mix it around a little bit? Yeah. Just give it a okay. stir. Give me a little basil. This is going to be so fresh. Yes. I mean, this is the freshest salad I think I've ever made. <laughs> Everything's ready. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. Let's scoot that to the side. So here's okay. our bowl of lettuce. This is a combination of some spring mix and some chopped romaine. Okay. Um, and then what you're going to do is let's start with one and a half ladles worth of that okay. dressing into this salad here. This is where I always mess up. Do you is add too much? I add too much. Or then just slightly not enough. Yeah. So, so one and you a can half You always ladles. add more, right? Yeah. There right. you go. And then go ahead and give it a good mix with the tongs here. Just if you ever wanted to know how much dressing that is what it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look like enough, but it is. Well, if All you're, right. you know, like I always think that if you're tossing a salad, you don't need as much and right. then everything's seasoned, but, yeah. oh, that's a good um, point. you know, when they serve it on the side, you end up using more, I feel like. See? So let them do it for you. Yeah. Um, all right. That looks great. So okay. to plate, we're going to put the lettuce in the bowl. And this is a nice, hearty salad that you can definitely enjoy for like dinner. Yes. For like a whole dinner. A you whole don't have dinner. to worry about it. And what I like about what I'm looking at here is it looks like so many different flavor profiles. It's just, it's beautiful. Yes. It's the most colorful salad I've ever seen. So our salmon is done, so we're gonna do our plating now. So this this okay. is the only component that you're gonna put on here that's warm. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna just go around um, the plate and just okay. kind of garnish okay. around I'm, I'm following all of them. The, what you've got here, so yes. I'm gonna do this right, okay. Oh, and so these are raw? Those are blanched green beans. Blanched green mm -hmm. beans, And you cut okay. them in like thirds. Okay. So they still have a little bit of a crunch. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to have two deviled eggs. This is Yum. kind of a fun, um, let's go right here on this okay. side with them if you All need right. that. Um, addition instead of just like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. It gives you a little bit. More flavor, a little more panache. Yes. All right. I'm trying not to flip these. I'm so careful oh, with your eggs right job. now. Okay. All right. We have cherry tomatoes. Okay. I know there's so many dishes today. <laughs> All right. Cherry tomatoes. Oh, Where do those go? Right go? by the eggs. Okay. Leave those there. I'll switch it. Got it that perfect. See what I'm saying? How colorful this is, you guys? And you know, 
this is, you know, the kind of the classic flavors of an Iswa salad. You mm -hmm. need olives, you need green beans, you but need potatoes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but typically it's served with like tuna. Yeah, I was going to say it's usually a tuna Niswa. Mm -hmm. So you already roasted, roasted these, these. Okay. potatoes, which, you know, this is a good thing if you did roast potatoes for dinner the night before. Then you can just throw them And you have a little bit of extra, you can throw them in your salad. Jeez. All right. And then um, we're going to top with some of these pickled onions, Those which go on are top right here. some of my favorite thing. Um, all right. And then little capers. All right. Oh, this is great. Um, you know, I love dockside because it's all about eating on the water, right? Yes. And then, like, nothing could be more. I'm putting the capers in there because I love it. Oh, good. Nothing could be more relaxing than enjoying, you know, like I was saying to do. Yeah. Um, the glass of wine and the sunshine. And then having something like this come out, especially in the summer, mm -hmm. so light and refreshing. Yes. Gosh, look at how beautiful. Yes. It's at Alki, right? That's at Alki, yes. I don't, I've never been to Alki. You have it? Oh, no. you're going to have to check it out this I'm summer. I'm going to come down there. And they just Hang actually had a renovation. Well, and if you all need, obviously, a, a chef, <laughs> um, obviously, I, I'm good at it. Okay, but while I take a bite of this, yes. will you tell me what else is on the menu? Oh, gosh. I mean, obviously, we're famous for our clam chatters. They're award winning. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, um, the clam, all of our chatters are also gluten-free, which I think is also a unique thing that um, I we do know at that. Yeah. Mm. So um, bring your gluten-free <laughs> friends okay. down and have a cup of chowder. Um, crab cakes are delicious. Um, we also do really good um, burgers. Yeah, who, you, know, if who you don't eat if you're seafood, not a fish but, person. But um, yeah. Okay, this is amazing. The, the, the Dijon on this, the flavors together. Yeah. I'm glad um, you like it. This, I'm going to preload this right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you so oh, you're much. Welcome. Because get this, Chef Amanda and Duke have generously allowed us to share the recipe for the salad, all the ingredients, and it's going to be on our website. But if you want to start cooking right away, or you're just going to go to the store in a few minutes, just text the word recipe to 206-448-4545, and we'll send all of this straight to your phone. You are welcome.